welcome back so in this video I want to show to you how to treat uh, aphids on orchids and uh, how to recognize the, the signs here I have my uh, new Bellara Patricia Macaulay and um, we can see one that is actually moving right now on the lip you see it crawling that is um, an aphid I think and uh, right now I want to kill it to be quite honest you can uh, manually squish them and um, well uh, how to recognize the signs so let's see you will have little uh, damage on the blooms you will see little uh, dots uh, here on this uh, part I have some uh, babies they are not really all that active um, it seems that uh, they have uh, really liked this um, backside of the blooms and uh, here I have much more damage and um, we can see that uh, down here on the lip um, they have uh, munched it off and um, if we actually take a closer look at the sepals we can see some adults not all aphids look uh, really the same the good uh, thing is that look how many I have on that lip the good thing is that they are really really easy to kill I can't uh, really seem to focus there you go and you can uh, really see them all over the place on the blooms um, the thing is when I have uh, purchased this orchid and I even did an uh, ID video for it I didn't really see them either they were eggs or they were just babies and they, uh, they weren't really very visible but um, here is another sign on the leaves we can see all sorts of um, shiny patches and um, this is another indication for aphids they uh, leave this type of um, shiny residue behind and um, yeah uh, what damage they can do to your plants well they eat the buds they eat uh, the blooms and uh, you can have bud blast if uh, the orchid uh, has buds or uh, they can just ruin a beautiful display um the bad thing is that i was so busy with my moving that i didn't uh, get to quarantine these orchids that i uh, got on the last batch from a uh, secret garden so right now I need to um, uh, separate this orchid and uh, all that came with it and um, it only stayed in my room on uh, my windowsill and there I have about uh, 10 or 15 orchids but uh, it's not uh, such a big deal because uh, yeah I can uh, easily treat uh, 15 orchids and uh, kill any other um, aphids that uh, may be there because we don't want to spread uh, these bugs to a collection of uh, over 150 orchids so how i will kill them is i will put um, in um, 150 milliliters of water two or three drops of uh, dish soap and i will spray uh, very very well all the orchid the blooms the leaves in between the crevices everywhere so i will make sure that uh, the bugs are dead and uh, I will take another look in a few days, see if uh, any egg um, hatched and uh, maybe the aphid didn't die. Um, you might uh, need to apply this uh, two or three times, but it's uh, very easy. It's a homemade uh, solution and uh, yeah. Uh, aphids are not uh, all that scary if you take actions fast. So this is what I want to do. I will go now and prepare my solution um, as for the spraying guys it's really I will only go to the bathroom and I will spray everything leave it um, in a very warm location to dry off because uh, here I have a new growth and uh, if I would drop water in this new growth um, it would rot and I really don't want to do that because I can see the orchid is not very healthy it doesn't have a lot of suitable or uh, roots so uh, yeah if uh, I keep the, this new growth at about uh, 25 Celsius and um, I provide uh, great ventilation, it won't rot. So that is what I will do. So alrighty guys, thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!